In the UK, we're currently in the midst of a battle against the pernicious coronavirus. It's the fourth week of lockdown, and I can totally imagine it if you're going a little bit stir crazy, having been sort of isolated in your bunker for the past four weeks. What we're going to do in this activity then is have a look at how British mathematicians in the past have used ingenuity and quick thinking to overcome seemingly insurmountable odds. And hopefully, in that way, we can succeed in this Fifth World War against the COVID-19 virus. One of the best stories I think that has emerged from this whole pandemic is this chap here, who you might recognise as Captain Tom, who set himself the goal of raising a thousand pounds by walking around his garden for a hundred laps. In doing so, however, he has achieved astronomical success, currently raising funds of over 28 million pounds for NHS charities. So looking at this, it got me thinking, how can we draw on the characteristics from um, pioneers, British pioneers in the past, and particularly World War II, to succeed in this battle? So what we're going to have a look at is Operation Ultra, and in particular, the role of uh, a considerable number of mathematicians based here, and in particular, a large number of female mathematicians. So this seemingly uh, incongruous building is in fact somewhere called Bletchley Park, and was hugely important because the mathematicians deciphered the codes that the German submarines were using to communicate. And what that meant was that the Allies were able to succeed in their battle against this guy here, who you probably do recognize as Adolf Hitler. So what we're gonna be looking at is a scenario where you are one of these code breakers, and you're gonna be pitched with using your mathematical skills to save the United Kingdom from invasion. So let's have a look at the scenario in a bit more detail. It's June 1940, and only the United Kingdom remains free to fight the menace of Nazi Germany. In order to keep fighting, the UK must import 5 million tonnes of food, fuel and military equipment every month. If the UK cannot get these supplies, it will be forced to surrender to Nazi Germany. The consequences of this for the UK and the rest of the world are unthinkable. The UK's vital supplies are delivered by merchant ships which travel from the USA and across the Atlantic Ocean in order to reach us. Unfortunately, despite the Royal Navy and RAF's best efforts, these merchant ships have very little protection crossing the Atlantic. They face attack from Nazi aircraft, sea mines, warships, and most worrying of all, submarines, better known as U-boats. So this is the problem at the moment. These submarines or U-boats are wreaking havoc against these ships trying to bring supplies to the UK. They are communicating, and these communications have been intercepted, so we've got them. But they cannot be deciphered because the code is too tricky. And you are tasked with breaking these codes. So Station X is the kind of hub for where this code breaking is going to take place, and for the purposes of this activity, where you are going to be based. So Station X is the code name for, for Bletchley Park, which is home to, uh, to the code breakers, which is you guys. Uh, so code breaking takes place in Hut 8 and translating messages into English, because obviously these messages are all written in German initially, takes place in Hut 4. So you're going to be doing the heavy lifting, which is trying to decipher the code. 80% of Bletchley's 9,000 staff are uh, women and mathematicians, that's you guys, are very much in demand. So, um, what does it feel like to be at Bletchley Park? If you have a look at one of the links below, you can see a, a link to a clip from um, Bletchley Park, the movie, which will give you a little bit of an insight. So, next steps. Well, in the next few videos, I'm going to give you a bit of an introduction into a number of different code-breaking techniques. Now, for each of these, there is later going to be a message which you have to decode. So what I would suggest you do is make notes on each different type of code 
And then you have these accessible so you can refer to them when I show you the actual messages for you to decipher. So uh, good luck. The UK is counting on you all.